everyone welcome to the next session on ansys workbench tutorials in this session we are going to analyze a crane hook we will see how much load does the crane hook take and what will be the equivalent stress generated on the crane hook we will also see the strain and the deformation of the hook so we will start by double clicking on static structural Engineering data I will not change because I will take the default material of ANSYS that is structural steel. So I'll directly go to geometry. I already have the crane hook made with me. So I will import geometry. Next I'll go to model and double click on it. This is the crane hook you can see here in geometry the material is structural steel i'll now go to mesh if you want you can change the sizing to fine i will leave it to course itself and update Next, I'll go to static structural and insert fix support. This end of the crane hook is fixed, and there is force applied on this end. So, I'm going to select edge and I'll select this entire edge where the load will be applied. Next, I'll change vector to component. Along the y axis, I'll apply a load of minus 10,000 Newton. Next, I'll go to solution and insert deformation total. I will also insert deformation directional along the y axis. 
Next, I'll insert equivalent stress, which is most important. I'll insert strain. I also want to see the safety factor of this hook and also in tools I will insert fatigue tool analysis type I will leave it to stress life mean stress theory I will choose as goodwill theory in fatigue tool I will right click and insert life I can also insert damage. Next I'll go to solution and solve. I will go to engineering data. Engineering data sources. The material chosen is structural steel. So in structural steel, because I want to see the fatigue, in scale, I'll change this to semi long. So I can see this alternating stress over here. And this value. Maximum value is 86.2 of alternating stress. So I just go to project and update project. Now when I come to model, I just solve once again. Now you can see here, this is the total deformation in mm. You can animate and check the result. The maximum deformation over this body is 0.073 mm, which is actually very less. Next, we will see the directional deformation along the y-axis. So here you can see all the deformation. The maximum deformation at this end, where it is red, is 0.0109 mm. Again, it is very, very less. Next, I will go to equivalent stress. The maximum value is 31 megapascal. We have seen that for this material, structural steel, the maximum value is 86.2 megapascal. So, the stress generated is well below the maximum value. Next, we will go to elastic strain. The value is 0 0.0016176. So it is again less. You can animate and check the result. Where your strain value is going to be more, you can see here in this inner edge of the hook. And here, the maximum value is exerted of strain. In stress tool, we will be checking the safety factor. So you can see the value is 50 and at this edge you can see a bit of different colors so you can animate and check the result where your safety factor is less and on the rest of the surface the safety factor is really good at this 15. Next comes the life you can see the life of this hook will be 1 into 10 raised to 6 cycles the design life is 1 into 10 raised to 9 cycles, but for this hook pertaining to this load, the value of cycles that it can sustain is 1 into 10 raised to 6. So that's how you can analyze the hook. You can see its various results and you can interpret the stress, strain, deformation, the life of this hook. What is the safety factor of the material that you are using? And you can accordingly design the hook for a particular value of load that it can sustain. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood how to analyze a crane hook 
If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.